it's time to dedicate uh, President Bush's uh, presidential library, and all five living presidents are going to be there today in Dallas. Ann Compton is there right outside the front door of the presidential library. Ann Compton, good morning. And good and morning, good to, morning you. to you. Wouldn't you love to be a gnat kind of circling the heads of these five living presidents as they make small talk, not only at the ceremony, but the luncheon that follows? Some of these guys have been very critical of others, including the host, uh, critical of the host of uh, President Bush. But uh, I think today they'll all be on the best behavior and exceedingly cordial. You, this, this group of five is interesting because there has to be some type of group dynamic, friends, they're more friendly with others, less friendly with, with someone. And uh, President Clinton, it has been said, is uh, President Bush's brother from another mother. That That's right. You know, sometimes things bond you together. They are the only five people on the face of the earth who know what it's like to wake up every morning with all of the burdens of the free world on your shoulder. And, of course, they've been deputized to go off and do important things. Uh, President Bush and President Clinton went off and worked on uh, the crisis in Haiti, uh, where that country had so much trouble trying to restabilize after the, uh, after the terrible earthquake. So um, there are things that draw them together. President Bush, or excuse me, President Obama arrived here in Dallas last night and uh, told a group that he, um, that President Bush has always had at heart the best interests of all the American people, not just those who voted Repu- Republican. Of course, McGraw, he said that at a Democratic fundraiser. <laughs> now, um, are, are they going to face the media at all, the five of them together? That would be an extraordinary news conference. And spoil things? Absolutely not. <laughs> but what President Bush did was give individual interviews, to one to each of the major networks. And Diane Sawyers was the first, and she was on the air last night with, I think, some, some fascinating uh, comments from President Bush. He says he knows that he can generate headlines by by criticizing either the sitting president, something he says he will not do, and or uh, criticizing his own party, which has been having problems. He says he's not inclined to do that either. He's happy to sit outside the political dialogue. The only time she tempted him into the water a little bit was he said uh, that if Jeb Bush decides to run for president, he'd be marvelous. Yeah, if you think about this, future presidents are there. Maybe Hillary Clinton, maybe Jeb Bush as well as future presidents. Let me tell you the landscape of this. The five presidents will be sitting on the stage uh, in front of the library. Behind each president sits his first lady, which means Hillary Clinton, and down in the audience, Jeb Bush, and even Chris Christie's going to be here today. So we could actually start the primary season right here. (laughs) Uh, Talk about the uh, library for a moment, uh, Ann Compton. Have you had a chance to see it at all? Well, it's very dramatic. And remember, the library, There, the, this has three parts to it. The Bush Center is what they call it. The library is the archives that will be run by the government that uh, house all of his papers and documents. The uh, bigger parts are a policy institute, which been, has been up and running uh, programs around the world for about three years now. And today opens the the museum, which, op- which you walk into first and you see the little red schoolhouse he used to use as the symbol of his no child left behind. It shows he was really elected on all these uh, domestic priorities, and then you turn the corner and instantly are confronted with the dark reality of September 11th, which, of course, overshadowed everything else he did for eight years. And in one room, you can actually look at some of the advice he got on Katrina or the surge in Iraq, and you can choose what course of action you would have taken if you had been president at that moment. Usually, presidential libraries don't typically shy away from the more controversial aspects of the person's presidency, correct? This one does not shy away at all, and that's a very good point. Uh, President Obama, uh, President Bush told Diane Sawyer that his intent was to lay out what happened, simply put down the facts of what happened and what decisions he made, what information he had. And he said, let history judge long after he's gone. How about Dick Cheney? Is Dick Cheney going to be there for the festivities? You know, he and Dick Cheney have not been close. In fact, they, uh, they, President Bush was asked about that and concedes that uh, they just don't talk much any good. I think they left on uh, very sour terms as President 
Clinton and Al Gore did as well. Uh, there is something about the teamwork that they have together when they're in office um, tends to disappear after they've uh, parted ways. Yeah, interesting. I know that I had a chance to see uh, Truman's Library uh, on the other side of the state, and there's nothing as dramatic as seeing uh, Truman's handwritten note telling them to drop the atomic bomb. So these presidential libraries, you can see some great historical history there. And I can tell you, McGraw, at this one, there most of them have a kind of a replica of the Oval Office. This one was designed to be so real. Karen Hughes, his advisor, said, told me she got goosebumps when she walked into it. They even have it angled so the sunlight is at the same angle as the one in Washington. And tourists here will be able to come in, sit down on the furniture, look or wander around the Oval Office as if they're an invited guest. That is Ann Compton. Uh, gets some pretty good duty this weekend covering the uh, presidential opening of George W. Bush's presidential library. Ann Compton, thanks for the uh, great sights and sounds, and we'll talk to you down the road. Thanks very much, McGraw. 728 here on the Big 550 KTRA.